What do you even get on the highway or anything like that? What up, fellas? What up? Hey, what up? What up? What up? Man. Titanium. All right, yes, sir. Sick bill coming, huh? Yes, sir. Can't wait. What are you guys gonna put in this? Um, uh, it's the, the motor's already. Oh, in the motor's there. already in there. Okay, yeah. cool, cool. That's good. Obviously, it's it's stuck now. I don't think paint looks nice. Yeah, yeah, it's been painted a while ago, so. Um, yeah, it's just been sitting at the shop. We couldn't really find anybody to take over the project. Okay. And uh, yeah, until we found you guys. Oh yeah, so we'll do it. Sure Mike will do it. We got Mike it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. That's right, guys. Another one is in the shop. Another EG hatch. Yeah, so. we lost a bumper on the way here. We're like yeah, literally we're like two miles away. We just flew out? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get it though. Okay, okay. Hopefully we'll find it, not too much damage. It's really the paint job, because the bumper was already painted. Oh yeah, that sucks, yeah. We have to just find it. You can use that yeah, yeah, yeah. Got a bunch of parts in here. You yeah, a bunch up. of parts. All brand new. Is it K or B? You doing? It's a B. B series. Yeah, okay, all cool. All brand, like literally, even the glass is brand new. So nice, nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah man. Can't wait. B is the way, right? Right, Mr. K. <laughs> Mr. K, here. What you talking about? Hey, it's part of the Alpha, man. We don't care. B, okay. Z. No, I love my B series. Hey, you want to go? In? I'm gonna lift that up as you guys go to come down. Uh -huh. Let's grab this. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Go, go back forward a little bit. Okay, let's do something like this. I got it, Mike. You can come. You guys have a YouTube channel or something? Or? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man, YouTube. That's what I'm built. That's what I'm built. Yeah, man. Let's go check it out. Yeah, for sure. Not that, we're not that big yet, but yeah, I mean, yeah, just, yeah. Still, we're trying to do the. I mean, it, it's it's interesting content and it's creative and it's, yeah, it is creative. You know, new stuff every day, so people can see what you're working on. Just exactly. each person is gonna film the YouTube different. Just yeah. pick which one is gonna do it, and just you know, people get used to that style, and you know what I mean. Right, right on. Full yeah, it's true. yeah. With with the full builds, sometimes the car is in there so long. It's like part one, two. You know. I got you. You guys been here before now? No, not inside. It's my okay. first time here. Yeah, man, it's pretty nice. Pretty nice people work here. Mike works here. Oh yeah, wait. wait, wait. <laughs> We're good stuff about you guys. So. We're and you guys are where? From where in Florida? Uh, we're we're right down, right down the street from the old shop. What? Literally yeah. right We've down. We've been the there forever. <laughs> I know. know, man. Someone has so much stuff around here. We don't even know, like. So, know. Uh, some big supplies are in the area, you know that? I know that. You don't even know. I know that, yeah. A lot of times, you know, you, you don't realize until you kind of, like, just like you guys, yeah. you know. It's, it's Nothing perfect. before it's time, though, you know? Yep. yep. So he does all the power sports stuff, so he's got, like, you know, yeah. if you're looking for, like, motorcycles, anything like that, oh, yeah. Grom, he's got all that kind of stuff. Jet ski. Yeah, he's got everything cool. over there. Yep. They do service over there also for all that stuff. Oh, nice. Check it out. This is a build. You know, it's been sitting for a while, but we're going to finish it up for them, for sure. Check it out, Jay's cleaning this mug down. You know, guys, most of the time when the car comes in at a, a certain way, we always try to, like, make it be better than the way it was coming. So, just actually soap, soap and water right now. Just kind of, like, wipe it out, make it, a, you know, cleaner. Mad parts. So, yeah. Great. Going through everything. I'm gonna get this project started. This project's gonna be here for a while, guys, so be here with us, pushing it through. Whoa, we already started. Jay, or Jay took out all of these and, you know, just doing the little small things first and swapped out all these. Ch check it out from underneath. You can tell how much time and everything went into this car. Shout out to Bolt Boys. To who? Bolt Boys. Bolt Boys, okay. <laughs> So yeah, everything everything looks nice on this car, man. So this car has been downstar bolt boys. Downstar hooked it up. So when this car came in, guys, it didn't have no axles or nothing. So we're gonna and the gas tank also got taken out. Because they're gonna be running a fuel cell. You know, they haven't decided about the auto drive yet, right? Not yet. Not yet. So, yep. yep. Day one on this thing. Many more days. You guys are cleaning up all the brake parts that came with this. Making sure everything is lubed up. 
<laughs> all nice. Getting all the rust out of there. Uh, basically just going through, taking everything else apart. He has some of the brake stuff already, so we're just assessing what else is needed. Um, he has a set of rear drilled and slotted rotors, so we're going to have to get the song for the front. Uh, there was only three brake pads, so we're going to get a new set of brake pads for the front. The rears have pads, so just basically going through cleaning everything else everything up. up yeah. Everything else down here was all painted, so we're just <laughs> touching up the rest of it here. Uh, cleaning up the caliper brackets, making sure there's no rust inside, and then going to grease all the pins and everything, and move on to the next part of the build. Yeah. And we need a dirty Milwaukee sponsor who's so these stupid batteries keep dying. <laughs> No batteries, my yeah. Batch of them, no dead. Batteries. Milwaukee. Huh? You guys saw yesterday, oh, Jay changed hey. out all this, all these things he had. So, I was looking good. Yeah, we're trying to make his, he actually has like a pretty expensive rear sway bar kit. So we're just trying to make it adapt to this stuff that he got us. The function. Yeah. So we got a rear bottom brace and his door control arms. They look nice. Everything's getting put on, as we said earlier. Users rear slotted. It's going on some EBC, EBC green. Yellow. 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 My personal EBC is green. Don't ask why. Zin. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I dude, I love where the green breaks up perfect with my integrity back in the day. So I, oh, I, I'm you sticking. break up the green? Yeah, I know it's. Oh, I get it. It's a weed reference. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, everything. I got those and everything's like literally every bump. Okay. Yeah. You'll you'll be able to adjust those, get them exactly the way you want them, you know, if you were to soften the damn thing and everything. Right on. Right on. Yeah, sounds good to me. Uh yeah, if you wanna just you know, take my money. <laughs> 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 it's a nice it's a nice though. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? You got no thought in it? Yeah. You did a good job. Thank you. Yeah, that's my project. The only reason I bought it from him is I know he wasn't gonna get. Yeah. He's not the type to go cheap or like do it. Like he likes to do it right. So yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, like I said, it was spinning, so we know how the bear and all that so I, I think you guys clean everything yeah. from the video, so I appreciate that. Yeah, thank you guys. Yeah, for sure. Like I said, skirts, bumpers, all brand new line. And then, but I have some more stuff. I, I, I brought the glass, I brought a bunch of. I, I can show you guys. Yeah. Okay, so you got some interior. Oh, yeah, nice, nice. More parts. Yeah. There it is. Yep. Titanium power supply. Nice. Right. Mm -hmm. You got it? Yeah. Oh, a lot of parts right now. So, guys, this thing is going to be a real nice front wheel drive car. Man, parts come in left and right. Yeah, uh, basically all the parts that you guys saw in the boxes and stuff, uh, we just wanted to put it on. Like, there's no gaskets, everything's loose. So now we can see, like, here, uh, you know, this radiator needs to get moved. Obviously, we're going to get his pipes uh, Cerakoted and stuff. We got to clock the turbo so all this is loose. So this is what we were working with, so we wanted to put it together, see how everything kind of lined up, because the car was previously turboed. So now we're going to kind of... All his pipes don't have um, any uh, bead rolls at the end for the couplers, so we're gonna do stuff like that, get the pipes recoded. Uh, but this is basically kind of what he had prior to bringing it in. We we're just kind of putting his stuff back together. Back together right? Yeah, and we're gonna touch it up in our own little way now. So we just wanted to see what we were working with. Uh, like I said, to see if the, the piping kind of added up correctly and, and it seems to, to kind of all go together nicely. So now we just kind of have to work with it a little bit and, and get it painted and stuff like that so it looks nice. Sweet. This thing's coming together swiftly. Nice. And the brakes have been done up. You put in some tie rod ends. Yeah, we put the tie rod ends. We're waiting for calipers and Calipers's stuff. He's going to get uh, the matching set. The EBC uh, he went over it with uh, Mike and yeah, he, he's going to get like a matching set for the back uh, to, yeah, from EBC yellows or greens or reds. Yellows. <laughs> but yeah what's up guys um so working on the last of the couplers here that came in for the charge piping so next customer brought in some uh d2 coilovers so we're going to be installing these after the charge piping's done nice these are the sl series so these are 36 way adjustable dampening um, so he's able to adjust 
everything that he needs as far as ride control and everything with these coilovers. So it'll definitely be a really big improvement over what he's got on there now. Yes. Um, he's got some real old school ground control coilovers. Yeah. So just giving it, you know, a little update. A little update yeah. Nice. Bringing it into the new age because obviously you can see there's a lot of old school parts on there as well. You yeah, know, yeah, the yeah. AM fuel rail, the injectors that were in there. So we're going to go through, we're taking out. Um, some of those components as well. We're going to be using the Alpha A1 1000 injectors yeah. uh, from Alpha Injection Clinic, um, as well as some other uh, updated parts uh, fuel system. We're going to be running a Dash 8 feed with a Dash 6 return, uh, Red Horse 100 micron uh, filter in line, and then we're going to be doing an AEM 380 pump in the tank. Okay. So, oh. nice, nice. So, you got some fresh goodies. We update yeah. this car. You know, it's Oh, we told you guys this car was a blast from the past. It's been sitting, but was well kept. So we're modernizing a few things, and Mike's on it. Mm. Got Javi in the house. What's going on, my brother? If you guys didn't know, Javi, fastest all-wheel drive Accord in the world right now. Trying to make some more things happen, make better numbers. Let's better see what numbers. we get. Oh, okay. okay. Um, so I'll show you. Back on blue glory right here. All that just to not remove this bolt. Yep. That makes no, no fucking... forward. Can it pull forward some? Oh. I'm getting ready to remove that old suspension. What do we say around here? Out with the old, old and with that new, new my new. New new. <laughs> new coming at you. Coming at you. I'm not looking at you. Look at this guy. Look at him. Always over there grinding on something. See? I don't see nothing wrong with a little. <laughs> Kim, get your boy. Get your boy, Kim. <laughs> so we got the uh, Blue EG hatch here that we're working on, the V-Series hatch from Titanium Power Sports. Um, got a lot of parts that have come in for it already. Um, missing a few others still. We've had some issues with things being on back order, which I'm sure everybody out there has. Yeah. Um, but basically, we have the engine harness that came in from Jacksmania Racing. Nice. Um, we got a V-Series tucked harness for it. So what we're going to be doing now is basically just routing everything for the harness, getting everything plugged in, finding yeah. out if there's any other sensor adapters we need um, or anything like that. And then one of the issues we ran across is this whole engine bay has been tucked and shaved. So as you can see, there's literally no holes to run the yeah, wiring nice. harness at all. Um, so the only thing we have is for the throttle cable here, the clutch master, which we got one that we're gonna be putting in. Um, this is actually gonna be for a power in ground, um, like a, a terminal uh, shut off or like a, a charging port for you to be able to use that yeah. on both those terminals. Um, so those are the only holes there. So we're gonna have to make a hole down below um, so they were able to get the harness into harness the car yep. and basically we got everything else in um, the coilovers came in the customer uh, ordered those themselves so we got yep. the D2. you guys saw, saw those when yep. I showed you 36 way adjustable those are the SL series um, we have the downpipe back from powder coat so we're going to be putting that on as soon as we get the other gasket that we're missing there and then we'll be working on the feed line um, as well as finishing up the drain and we got all the couplers and everything in. The, the charge piping he already had with this intercooler that was set up for the car before, um, but none of this was bead rolled. Bead so rolled. we took all the charge piping um, and bead rolled everything. And then we got all new couplers and clamps and everything like that for yes. it. Um, we well, had to- Of course you guys are putting on the dress up, the dress up stuff, the bolts. So. Yeah, he actually had all the dress up basically kit. an entire dress up kit, like password JDM stuff and then some Downstar stuff as well. So everything that was in there, we kind of just went through and assessed what all he brought. Yep. Um, and then just made a list from there of things that we still need in addition to those. And then, you know, what we have so far. So we're just piecing everything together. But some, and, uh, you saw some axles today also. Yeah, we just got the, he had a driver's side axle. The passenger axle that he had was just completely shot. So we, okay. we had to get a passenger side axle. We just got done putting that in here now. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's done. Um, we had to modify the bracket for the radiator just so we could shift it back because where it was sitting previously, yeah. it was literally right on the wastegate. So we just modified this, pulled it back. We're going to shave this down and then powder coat that. Um, and then we're going to be using a 90 degree here. Um, then that way it at least gives it a little bit more clearance. Okay, so it's, right you know, not 
exactly touching the radiator. Yeah, cool. Um, but coming it's, together. it's coming together, coming along, and uh, you know, next is going to be working on you know getting the wiring harness inside, and then from there, okay. work on getting this thing wired up so we can make sure the fans and the everything fuel pump, works. everything else is working, and, and then work on getting. And also, it we ordered some alphas for these, right? Yes. Um, so those are just the old injectors that were in there. Uh, we ordered the Alpha A1000s. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're waiting on those to come in from Alpha. Uh, should be getting them in just uh, a few days here. Okay, cool. Yep. Chad's putting up some fuel lines right now. Yeah, I'm putting these here. This is actually the return, because this is just the dash six. We one. don't have the fittings for the, uh, we don't have the fittings for the feed yet. Yeah. So I'm just gonna, lightly put this in here and maybe find bigger ones of these so that we can bend them up and put the eight and the six through these yeah. all the way up. Well, you just run a line now so you know where the other Yeah, I'm just running a line for now so I could cut it and it's gonna have the OEM gas tank and stuff so yeah. we have to figure that part out after. And it's gonna be a top feed, of course, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. nice. Check it out, we got the um, delete brake system going on right here. Might just install, Mike and Chad's on it. Yeah, we played with a little, uh, I put some stuff here and there just to see, you know, like I felt they were playing with his um, uh, throttle cable, just trying to get everything, everything. all nice. We're going to get these little brackets powder coated and stuff. We got his lights in. This is just what he gave us and stuff. So I got his lights all in. We're just trying to like, you know, pick stuff up off the floor, me and Mike, and just slowly do all the little intricate stuff to, to wait for the other parts that are coming. This, this bracket is still, we redid this bracket again. To a different one because we didn't like the other one so we're probably gonna get this one powder coated but this is gonna sit like probably like right no. here I'm gonna try to get a 90, 90 for this. yeah, I might, yeah I might do some I think maybe by the end of the day today maybe grab some uh, vacuum line and some stuff like okay. that uh, is this is all these little stuff over yeah, here yeah so today I'm gonna go get some wipers I'm gonna put these wipers on um, that's somebody's sock and then uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's a, and then this is his strut bar. I don't know if he wants to use it. It's actually missing one of the brackets. brackets. So I'm gonna have Mike ask. You him guys later. did these or these came with no, it? No, those came with the car, but they're not the whole car. They're just like the ends of the car. Ends so of the car. Okay. Mike's pretty good with that. He's gonna play with that too today. Me and him are gonna play with some interior stuff. Like I pulled out. Um, he's got uh, you know like a a uh, blanket for the turbo, but we're waiting for the gaskets to come in. So that stuff still has to kind of come off. So we're trying yeah. to like. You do, do do all the the little intricate intricate stuff. We've got the bluff valve over there, still waiting for a gasket for that. What is that? Uh, it's it's a it's a um, ready 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 ready, yeah, ready. Yep, ready. G ready ready RS. A G, a G ready G ready RS. What you been looking at, Mike? Some, some door stuff. Yeah, just trying to get the door handles and everything put on. Um, he had all of the things labeled basically with like every, everything for the door. That's good. Already, you know in in bags and so just going through you know piece by piece taking everything out yeah. you know getting it reassembled onto the car um, like chad said we're waiting on a few other parts to come in so while we're waiting on those just wrapping up all the other Everything, exterior right. stuff that we can do so he wants full interior back and all that stuff and um so he much. does not have the rear interior but the front he's going to be doing carpet you know some racing seats and stuff okay. like that uh, but as far as the rear goes there's not going to be any interior back there. Um, everything's been painted throughout the car. Yeah. Um, we do have a bolt-in, um, like two roll cage. style yeah, roll cage. cage. So Blue we're going to yeah. be putting that in there. Um, and then, you know, like I said, front interior with carpet and everything else like that. that okay. Cause we could bolt in the cage before yeah, the carpet be nice. and stuff. So maybe, maybe I'll, I'll jump in there today and bolt it in. We're really waiting on those brakes to come in. So we could roll this car and put the wheels and back tires and back on. Yeah, but I'm waiting already. for the, yeah, exactly. But we're just waiting for the brakes. So I, I didn't attach the tie rods or anything yet. Cause the steering, uh, it's called a, it took me a little bit to find, but it's actually called a steering joint and i kept writing in like other like steering things steering whatever but it's the joint that goes up here that connects it to the um steering the steering rack right. and okay. to, from the wheel to the rack nice. uh, but yeah so we have one of those coming in because he switched to a manual rack and okay. on the manual rack it's two small yeah. ends instead of a big end and small end stuff like that oh, nice. but yeah definitely definitely coming together looking better and better all right guys stay tuned for this one Chad and Mike is finishing up. This car's gonna be pretty clean, pretty nice. Sugar and spice.
spice. Rice. Sugar. All oh, right. So we got the injectors in from Alpha Injection Clinic. Mm -hmm. um, so what we're doing now is uh, basically just changing out the uh, pigtails here because the ones that came with these um, are not the standard OEM pigtails. Yes. Yeah. So just basically wiring these up now. Um, getting that ready so that we're able to go ahead and get it started. Um, customers running their A1000 injectors. A1000. Um, okay. Yeah, so it's just a, a turbo setup. He plans to make you know between like 350, 400 horsepower. So okay. plenty injector to make that. Yeah. My respect to Alpha. Sweet. My respect. Um. Yeah, just put a cell phone into there because it's a new. And then we'll it all just like the same thing I did with my car, down and along, and then just dump it through right, right behind the back. Of the car. Okay. Oh, guess what came in? These EBC rotors came in. Now we have matching front and rears. So the rears came with the car, but the front there was none. But it's coming way quicker than we expected. Everything's going pretty nice. Ceramic, ceramic. So what we got here now, uh, turbo kit, fully installed uh, and tightened with all the gaskets. Uh, what we're waiting for is a sandwich plate for the oil pressure sensor. It's hard to see down there, but I got the return line down. Um, all this uh, was supplied by the customer too. So this downpipe was already here supplied. We got it coated, bolted in really nicely. Um, we have the terminals up here. He had holes for the terminals. Uh, basically like a jumper because you'll see in the future Mike's making a battery mount right here. Uh, yep He's making a battery mount right over here Check it out. And, um, nice one battery mount. It's gonna be down here in the fender yeah. So it's basically a jumper that he had he had the holes there already and he wanted the jumper So we put yeah. the jumpers for him um, Fuel you guys we already talked about but fuels all in we're waiting for a little thing still for the gas tank and the uh, oil or the fuel feed yeah. the feed yeah uh, injectors are all done and, and now so done up yes no some not really. not really but so we did install some of the clutch this is clutch, loose clutch because it. we're playing with the interior which I'm gonna show you guys in a second but we have all the clutch lines fed in new master and slave and then we come to interior uh, beforehand these doors were pretty much just Nothing. shells yeah. yeah so we put all the seals that he had in the boxes all the seals all this stuff now we're gonna talk to him to see what he wants to do about this area if he wants to get a fresh door panel or if he's gonna be a little bit more race car -y, but more yeah somewhere. I don't know what he wants to do but there was nothing in here so we got you know, all the windows working now stuff like that to close it up um, we even put in when I even had to put up all, all to this mirror we clipped in some dash pieces um, like I said everything was customer supplied running through those boxes um, e-brake was is connected now uh, and then we got this Cajun so he said he's gonna try to get us new carpet and yeah. some new seats so I put the cage in now it's a bolt-in cage uh, just this little four points bolt-in yeah. I don't know what brand it is it's actually pretty nice but I'd like it to have maybe a harness bar would be cool but yeah. uh, so when he gets the seats and the carpet we're gonna go from there on the interior nice sweet and as you guys know we got the front row here that came in also so everything's matching and this car is, is getting there nice cleaning up the battery box looking good yes sir yeah we do custom battery boxes you had one too, right? We do it all, yeah. Do it did all. a custom one on my car. This one's actually going to be the same location as, as where the one was on my car. Um, so it's going to be mounted on the driver's side here. Yeah. As you can see, the charge piping over there, yeah. the loft valve is actually going to stick up. So it's it's in the way here. No room, so we yeah. weren't able to locate it you yeah. know, on, on this side. So we're just going to have to run some wires a little bit further. But yeah. it's able to clear here because it this piece used all the way around and then drops down lower. So the battery is still able to sit. You know, right in this right, area exactly. here, and it'll play. Nice. Uh, it's going to be framed out, as you can see. Um, you know, it's going to have one, two, three mounting points there, and then this point is also gusseted on both sides. On both sides so again, this is going to just sit basically over the top once I get done with uh, grinding the rest of it off. It's going to sit over the top like this. And then we're going to have a piece of rubber in between here, yep. and then that'll basically secure the battery down. Thank you. 
Got to finish grinding that little piece in the back there. But it's pretty good. Gonna sit over that and the top and hold it all in place. So as you can see, we have the battery box in the car. Uh, next, we are going to Super go ahead. Nice. Yeah, thank you. So uh, we just finished up with getting everything done, getting that painted. Um, we're gonna work on the wiring next. So we're gonna run the power and the ground leads. Mm -hmm. um, and then we also finished up the rest of the charge piping. We installed the blow off valve. Um, now we're gonna be routing all of the vacuum lines and everything like that for it. Um, everything just finishing nice. up, you know, just buttoning up everything that we can at the moment while we're still waiting on a few other parts to come in. All drain um, yeah, turbo drain lines done. Um, from here, just basically just got to wire up like the cooling fan, yep. um, the coolant reservoir, building brackets and everything to hold a aftermarket reservoir that's going to sit off to the side down here. And then also still need to run the brake lines. Uh, we got a fuel tank, so we're going to be putting that in, um, as well as installing the new AEM fuel pump. Mm -hmm. uh, it's in tank with the Red Horse 100 micron filter. You're running E85? Um, no, he's going to be running 93, 93 in this one. Okay. Yep. All right, cool. Lots of wiring going on for this car now as these guys getting closer, getting closer. You guys seen the blow up valves on? Turbo, battery. You guys seen that? And now Chad is at it. Yeah, I'm just um, doing the harness for, he has like um, like HIDs and he has no headlight harness going through that side. Yeah. So he has blinker harnesses going through both sides. So basically we have to take the harness from this side to bring it over to that side. And I'm doing that all while trying my best to keep the engine bay Tucked. Tucked. Yeah, okay, so nice. everything's gonna run through the front. I have this like zip tie here, which is gonna hold thing. Mm -hmm. So all the wiring's gonna run through the front and then follow behind the intercooler and then run that. Run back but over here. Once he puts the bumper on, and we actually even have, um, we actually even have uh, fender liners that we're gonna try to stop the water if anything from hitting. From but hitting. Okay. yeah, stuff like that. So basically, we're doing the HIDs, Mike. Uh, just went to lunch, but he's playing with the interior harness and the harness that comes from the interior to the lights. Okay. Yeah. All right, nice. We're trying to do all the little detail work that people don't realize takes a lot of uh, yeah, we can time. See, look it's at very it. tedious time. <laughs> very yeah. tedious in time. Yeah, very tedious in time, but not necessarily hard. Just just takes a, a little takes bit. Takes the time, so, right? Yeah. So you guys can see, we're laying around a turbo. And this car's coming together. You guys seen it when it came in. A lot, a lot of upgrades and mics in here. Messing around with this, we're gonna keep you guys posted on this car. It's coming together swiftly, so keep watching. Next video on this car is gonna be, hopefully we get to start it up and everything. We gotta do fuel and all that stuff still, so like, subscribe. Gripping, don't get caught slipping. You get behind the wheel, build it your Honda's bill. It's military grade, but this is not a drill. It's American made, but we all will drive the world. I see them changing the game, that's when always will. Got them cars killing speeds and just sound like artillery. It's all will and deep, almost like a war machine. Like it's meant for the infantry, Air Force, Navy, Army, and Marines. Now they clock triple digit speed, and they got them on the bases. Must be all the innovation. Watch them racing information Got the gauges twitching crazy Switching up the pace Shifting in a Civic or an S2K This is not your daily S1 Always gripping pavement S1, S1 You gon' wanna test run All wheel drive in the lane In the left one S1, S1 You gon' wanna test